I have a lot of friends and family who don't know what material science is, and I basically explain that material science is the foundation to all other majors. That's how I like to explain it. Everything is made out of something, and we're the guys who tell you what it's made of and how it will work. Material scientists are the people who take steel, for example, and make it stronger, harder, and cheaper, and lighter. Um, you know, taking, taking what we have, the natural elements on this earth, and manipulating them to get the properties we want for an application we need to use them for. When you look at a hammer, you can tell, uh, you know intuitively that it's strong and that you can hit things with it and it won't break. Um, but you don't really know why until you, until you look closer. When you look closer, you can see that there's iron and there's cementite and there's all sorts of different um, uh, phases and they form these intricate patterns that make it a lot stronger than other things that you'd see as like wood. Micro mechanical engineering, so it's the mechanics of the materials themselves, so figuring out material properties and what a piece of metal or plastic or any sort of material really is capable of doing and how we can make the properties better. You can really change everything just by changing stuff that you can't even see inside of some of these parts. A lot of the mechanical guys will tell you that carbides are tough. Well, we look at what the carbides are, what different things that would be used in tool bits and how they're the same metal, but just by heating or cooling them differently, you can get these different phases that are twice as strong as the other ones, and that's how you can uh, really design a material to be used for any situation. When I took the Introduction to Material Science course, it was my favorite course I'd had, and I kept taking more and more until eventually I realized that the material science is what I was the most interested in. If you like the chemistry but think it's a little too abstract, we're applied chemistry. We're using it every day. Uh, if you like uh, physics, there's a lot of in the thermodynamics, solidification theory, there's a lot of physics in that. One thing I noticed right from the get-go is that really if you want to make anything, you have to know how to make it, you have to know how to fabricate it, you have to know what you need to make it out of. And so materials, uh, the MSC department uh, focuses a lot on um, processing of materials and determining what they're going to end up being able to accomplish. Well, first I was a chemical engineer, then I was a mechanical engineer, now material science because I worked at a foundry for a summer and just kind of fell in love with the science, you know, the small scale. I'm not much of a designer, so it was kind of nice to be able to just take certain pieces and look at them and go, oh, okay, well, I can tell you what this is, and this has this tensile strength and blah, 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 and if you add so much copper to this, then it changes its properties this way, and somehow that was a language I spoke, so. The Innovative Castings Enterprise, uh, we take uh, projects on, uh, kind of like a senior design type project, uh, but we can do that through any year of schooling. So I've started when I, uh, my sophomore year, so this is my fourth year doing projects for the enterprise. And what's really neat is uh, we're actually solving real world and industrial problems. We get sponsors who give us money to work on problems that they're actually concerned with in industry. So not only do we get hands on, as you can see I've been cutting up some metal for the project, but we also get to know what's actually happening in industry and applying what we learn in the classroom to real world events, so it gives a whole different feel on um, what's going on. And because it's a smaller department, it's, it's a more intimate feel. Um, I know all of my professors, and they know me. We have things like coffee break every Wednesday for an hour. There's donuts and coffee where student, undergraduate, graduate, faculty, staff can all mingle, chat about their research, what they're working on, or sports, you know, anything they want. In preparing for college, I visited a lot of schools and Michigan Tech's uh, facilities are, were by far the most impressive. We have our own foundry um, where we're able to uh, cast uh, aluminum, zinc, lead, iron, copper. It's like a hybrid of mechanical and chemical engineering. It's like a little less math in mechanical engineering and a little less chemistry than chemical and somehow it just works. <laughs> Corrosion resistance, conductivity, hardness, strength, ductility. It's the properties of the materials. The problem is at the, uh, the atomic level, and material scientists will, will work on that. They're in the petroleum industry, they're in the automotive industry, they're in the aerospace industry. Everybody needs a material science person, so everything is made out of something. 
You can't beat it with real world experience, hands on experience, and uh, making a lot of contacts in industry. It's really an overall great experience.